This is a letter to the editors. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Long time come town fan Seth Dickfield here <laughs> and I would just like to say that I am outraged at the last episode there were zero jokes <laughs> it was all arguing and that's not why I listen to the podcast I spend five dollars a month on this show <laughs> you have any idea how much money that is first of all think of it in terms of pennies <laughs> that's like five thousand pennies <laughs> yes it is <laughs> You know what I, I, how long it would take me to enjoy each and every one of those pennies? <laughs> how do you enjoy a penny, Seth? I'd, I'd, say, I'd say you give it 20 minutes each before I come in my pants from holding the penny. Times 5,000. We're talking about a lifetime <laughs> that I wasted on that terrible episode. Um... <laughs> We got a lot of complaints about it. Uh, <laughs> well, Kurt's but, back. Yeah, Kurt's back. So, hey, Kurt. Oh, hey, hey it's guys. not Kurt's fault. I guess it's not. It like you know, it was just it was fucking last minute. We had a shitty. Yeah, yeah. It's like eleven thirty at fucking night. Yeah, you know, I don't want to throw Kurt's like I still Kurt's one of the best comics. Oh, he's funny in shit. the city. He's yeah. an amazing comic. He's, he's a very so good funny. comic. But if we just had a boring conversation, the problem is, is like I didn't. I. uh you know, I felt bad about all the, doing all those premium episodes where I'm like, yeah, we're just going to do us. And I like didn't bother to get any guests. Because early on, I was, we were, I was getting pretty big guests. Yeah, some nice guests. Yeah. We could still do it. Who cares? Bonnie dude? was good. I, it, you mm -hmm. know, the Norton one got, there wasn't too many jokes in that. The right. problem with the Norton one is like anytime I'd say anything that I was trying to joke, Jim would be like, what do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be like, oh, I, well, I, I was kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but no, why the, why it's actually good that people don't like that is because now it justifies never getting guests again. Right. Yeah, you know they I mean? lost the the listener lost their privilege. Right, their and look, no, it's not the listener didn't lose their privilege. It was Honestly, our fault. It was well, your more than fault. Anything, mostly, it's yeah. Adam's fault. Yeah, yeah. that was why a test. My fault? That was a test. You were to supposed see... to be kicked off the show. That was a test to see if you could handle it without me. If in you you instead of me. One's got to go, Adam. Five thousand dollars. We promised the listeners, and uh, well, I'm off the show, but sorry, I'm just man. here right now. You're our guest, Adam's actually I'm just the our guest, guest right this now. week. Well, that's how it initially <laughs> was. Former dumb boy. Yeah, you were supposed to be, be back. Boys. You were supposed to be the guest the first time. <laughs> that first time we had you on, you were just the guest. Yeah. The first episode, this was just supposed to be my show, and Stav was the guest. That is fu that is true. And then we kept adding people. Yeah, you asked yeah. me on the podcast if I want to do a podcast. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how, how that's we how we got engaged. <laughs> It was a surprise. I had yeah, a big, I was like, all right. I had a big kiss cam. I had a kiss cam broadcasting in Stav's apartment, and I said, "Do you want to be on the podcast?" And he's like, "Don't do this to me in public." Yeah. <laughs> that's how it happened. So, and then Stav's got like you got one more road date, and then yeah, and then we're, we're coming. And I'm jealous. I want to go. I want to go down. We should Ireland. fucking we should do a little tour. Yeah. Well, we I just want I want some feature weekends. Yeah. I got a headline in like two months, and I just need where you do where. Cap City. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, you should work on yeah, some I go back. You should try and book some shit. I had in a fun, that was a fun trip to D.C. last That time was a lot of fun. Hold on. Me and Adam, we were laughing about, and it's like one of the hidden gems in D.C. is when you go to the Lincoln Memorial and you see people doing, they think those are the Rocky steps. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the best. <laughs> I, do it. I love it. And it's always like Indian guys. <laughs> so it's like, Vikram, Vikram, get, look at me. I am like the movie star Rockman. Vikram, take picture. <laughs> yeah, people always get it wrong in Philly, too. They do the City Hall instead of the Art Museum. Uh -huh. There's no, yeah. is there, there's not big steps at City Hall, though. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Like no, the, you you said that because somebody called the art museum City Hall. That's right. They do that the right steps, but they don't know what that fucking yeah. building is. I saw a clip of Rocky without the music running up those steps, and it mm -hmm. sucks dick. It's, it's just not very like, good. It's yeah. just like some guy running up steps yeah, yeah. and like grunting. Dude, I was <laughs> I was terrible. in Philly one time, and I saw a guy doing the Rocky steps, which is already just like I don't understand how you have. You can embarrass yourself to that degree. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, that's like... Was he in sweats? 
Yes, that was what oh. I was going with that. He was wearing the outfit. He had, oh, no. He had, like, the scully, oh, the gray no, sweats on. Dude. Just some completely out of shape, middle-aged Italian guy. He's like, yeah, like in the movie. I'm like uh, I'm like Rocky from the movie. He stops halfway to drink a cup of marinara sauce. Yeah. And just powers himself to the finish line. Yeah. Italians, stop pretending like you know anything about exercise. <laughs> you don't. You don't fucking know shit about it. Yeah. You're all on steroids. <laughs> you do some garbage five day split and do your steroids. They do get jacked though. I'll give them that. They do steroids. I, I, if I did steroids, would I get jacked? No, because you wouldn't go to the gym. <laughs> Maybe I would. How often would I need to go to the gym on steroids to get jacked? Uh, like once every well, couple days. I mean, days? you don't really. Yeah, if you put it together like a little four day split and start doing steroids, you could probably get in pretty good shape, dude. Fuck yeah! Where do I get steroids? Um. Do you actually talk to the Guido at my old gym who would who would give people he would I saw him one time he had the guy doing like the sample like uh you know the sample session. This is you know, not a guy that's maybe he was his client, but it was his first fucking day. Oh, he was a personal trainer? He's a personal trainer, this like meathead personal trainer who's really dismissive and shitty to all his clients. Just <laughs> right, this like right, right. douchebag bro. And he was like training this like, you know, dude the whole day. And then towards the end of the day I hear him too and he's like I hear him like talking to the guy. He's like you know, honestly, like, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, yeah, I did cycle, but just to get to where I am. And now I just maintain. <laughs> and now I just maintain, you know, what I what I built up by doing this by cycling. Yes. So to be per to be completely honest with you, to be if I'm being completely honest with you. Yes. You know, and then like I'm like, I, well, I don't know why you would just advertise that. <laughs> yeah. Like tell your clients, like those, are the, those, that's the one group of people who should lie about using steroids as personal trainers. Absolutely, professional athletes, I guess, because there's like a legal issue there. But if you're like a professional wrestler or some yeah. shit or a fucking bodybuilder, like everyone knows you're not fucking. You know, you're allowed to use drugs. Right. They don't just say that you use drugs, but a personal trainer, I just, nah. you know, there's no reason to fucking advertise that. And then like. You know, maybe 45 minutes later, I heard him again. He's like, well, you know, for someone your size, I would recommend, you know, maybe like maybe just a very short cycle. <laughs> and he's like telling the guy how to do steroids. Right like away. 110 pound oh, yeah, Chinese it was, guy. He was like, not, yeah, it was some fucking guy in his like late 30s who probably made a bunch of money in finance or whatever. Right, right, right. right. And he's like, trying, yeah, to, get I guess, in, trying now, to go from date rape shape to regular yeah, rape yeah. shape. Now, now I guess I'm going to be, uh, I'm gonna be a, a, a different kind of douchebag. <laughs> yeah. Now that I've made my money. <laughs> But uh, the only time I ever saw that guy ever get excited about any one of his clients, he was like training this like six foot five, six foot six, like uh, this like kid with like Eldis's body, right, 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 but even bigger, like a like a pear shaped man, right, 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 so a man with it, a woman's hips. Yeah, well, he had a huge ass, <laughs> but so like he was very naturally strong due to his huge ass. Uh -huh. So you know, he had this like dopey Same. looking like baby Huey kid in there. And the kid was like, you know, his first day in the gym deadlifting 500 pounds. And so uh, he had the kid uh, doing like, you know, like deadlifts with like six plates on the bar and shit. And uh, the trainer's just like, yeah, boy. <laughs> you know, like every rep. He's like, yeah, come on, get it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Man, and, and then they were going like set for set on the fucking leg press machine and just like maxing Jesus out with like a, a thousand pounds. He's like, yeah, that's fucking that's fucking fifteen hundred pounds right there. And he's like screaming at that the guy top just of his shatters his fucking. It's just like knee. a small neighborhood gym. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so funny. Dude, the fact that fucking douches were using Flavor Flav lingo is so funny. I remember mm -hmm. the yeah boy. Yeah, mm -hmm it became era. a Borat kind mm -hmm. of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And boy, did I... That was a funny show, though. And I loved... Flavor of Love? I loved fucking... Yeah, fla I beat off to almost every woman on that show, I would what? say. What? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hoops, Hoops is my favorite. <laughs> Hoops. Oh, yeah, Hoops she's was awesome. Cute. You know she was dating Shaq? She was Shaquille O'Neal. Hoops was like five, whatever, four, and like a small. Yeah, rel like you know how big Shaq's cock is, dude. It's probably it has humongous. to be pretty big. Shaq is seven four, right? Seven two, seven two, and seven like, one. Yeah, she probably got a nice fat hog, dude. Yeah, you seen that well, picture of Kevin Hart and Shaq, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can you right. imagine, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. what he did to Kevin Hart's asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart making his like uh, his comedy face. Apparently, Kevin Hart's got a real big dick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, How tall he, is he? He's like five three. He's like he's like three foot four. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's 3'4". Three, 3'4". Four. <laughs> three, four. <laughs> He's um, in great shape. I you guys I, never beat off to anyone on Flavor of Love? No. No. Come no, on. It's just you. You're Are you fucking, kidding? No, no I you actually computer. beat off these people. You just thought they were hot. That's like a huge I difference. I definitely would I think look you're up. you're lying a lot. I'm not time. lying, dude. How, How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? I don't think you beat off to these unbeatable, offable things. Dude, you can't beat off to a naked picture of hoops. She had some nudes out there, dude. All right. I didn't know about that. Yeah, everyone I beat off to has nudes or fake nudes. Yeah, I can't. Who the fuck is beating off the fake names? <laughs> sometimes for old times' sake, dude, you gotta be. Sometimes, I, I, no. Even when like old times' sake, there was never. If you I never thought, beat off the fake news. No, I'd be like, this is bullshit. You're 11 years old. No. Well, you know, maybe I did by accident because yes, I didn't. I didn't know exactly. But I mean, it became pretty cl- clear pretty quickly which ones were real and which ones were fake. All I'm saying, yeah, is- beating off the fake nudes when you're an adult is like if you still. If you, as an adult in your apartment by yourself, like wrote presents from Santa, to <laughs> you're like, what did Santa get me this year? Yeah, sometimes the family's you dead. They don't speak to you anymore. <laughs> Just open the wrapping. It's like, oh, it's a box set full of nudes <laughs> of the cast of Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girl, yeah, it's all the Gilmore Girls nudes. It's, Thank you, it's Santa. Mandy Moore smiling while yeah. some guy's fucking her. Yeah. Yeah. There's nine dicks surrounding Dakota Fanning's face. <laughs> Thank you so much, Santa's elves in your Photoshop <laughs> workshop. Look, I'm not saying I finish to fake nudes, but you know, as a you know, I'm stroking my dick for a while. It's an appetizer. I'll yeah. search, you know, and I'll be like, oh, that's fun. There's still titties. I guess beating off is more utilitarian for me at this point. It's something what? I have to do three or four times a day so I don't kill myself. <laughs> What do you beat off to? This is never... You've never admitted what you whatever beat off on, to? Just whatever on fucking... X ex, videos? Yeah. yeah. You know, first page, maybe second page. Sometimes I'll go just hit... hit go in there deep just to yeah. see what we got. Get crazy with it. Get 14, 14, 22. I beat I, off... You know what I've been beat off to lately? The beginnings of pornos where they like first get naked. You're... What, what? the fuck is wrong with you? Just, yeah, I, I, You know what I beat off to you guys? The interview where they're like on the side of the road and the bank <laughs> yeah. guys are offering them I money. Beat off, I beat off What's to the, the all sex the, stars? I beat off to all the legal disclaimers at the beginning <laughs> about yeah. the office of record keeping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, that's Miami, crazy. Florida. That's like, there's like a... There's a job. There's like some fucking state government job. You get fucking 60 grand a year to just like sit around and be like, what's that? Oh, that girl? Yeah, she's 18. Okay. <laughs> all right, thanks. You know, and like that's all you do is that's you just make good. sure that the people getting fucked on camera aren't children. That's, that's a, a good job. That's a cool job. Yeah. Could I get that? Can yeah, I quit you comedy and get could. that job? Yeah. All I'm saying is sometimes, you know, the first time, you know, it's fun to see some titties pop out of a shirt. Well, for the longest time when I was a kid, I used to beat off to like HBO stuff late at night. And then the naked boobies thing that was on all the time was a fucking. Stanley real sex. Kubrick. Uh, well, there was real sex, which was real like sex a, sucked, which was a yeah. documentary was like about sex. People. Yeah, <laughs> there's I want to like see sexy people. fat hippies. Unless like, it's me. That's the thing, man. It's I, I, the, I, I really can't fucking stand sex nerds. I don't know what else. to Oh, call them I know exactly what you're saying. Dude, I was on a date and a girl said, "Oh, my ex boyfriend was a real sex nerd." Yeah. Like, no, he just like was like fucking. Yeah, right. That's not, well, no, well, a sex 90, 90% nerd is someone that time, doesn't have sex. Ninety right? percent of the time, no. a sex nerd is like a fat woman that loves masturbating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's she. Oh, ooh, I'm like a, I'm like a very sexual person. One of those odds that gets you Just inappropriate wedding time. gifts. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> anal yeah. beads. Well, I yeah. hooked up with a girl who said she was in Baltimore, who's like, oh, I'm a sex nerd, and I think it's like, I really do think it's like autistic people because it like makes sex like a a series of rules like they're all like dominatrixes and shit like that and like there's no emotion in it it's just like oh what do you enjoy having sex and then it's like uh, it was weird i hate being asked that question straight up it's like can we just fuck do i yeah, have to like yeah right i'm in the same boat do i have to ask for yeah. I like when you suck my penis it feels weird and then she did suck my dick and it was cool but you know, it was real. Uh, you strange. had to ask questions. She, yeah, and also, <laughs> she was real bummed. She was like in an open relationship or whatever, and uh, she bro- <laughs> she broke up with her boyfriend who was bi or something because they like uh, they like met some dude at a bar and he br- uh, he she and they would like bring people back and fuck them together or whatever. And she was like, "Look, I don't really feel like fucking this dude." 
Uh, so we can just hang out or whatever, but no fucking. And then she goes to the bathroom and she comes back and her boyfriend's getting her dick sucked by this guy. <laughs> they just met at a bar. <laughs> so the boyfriend's just gay. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it, I mean, that's so fucking funny. You leave and you come back and someone's, <laughs> a man is sucking your boyfriend's dick. You're like, I told you, you can't yeah. get your dick sucked by a man unless I, I, I was gave dating you a girl a couple of years ago. And she like came home one night and she was like, oh, I got so wasted at the party. And I was like, I fucked these like two girls. Or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, I don't care, but you should have like asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just assume that like you can just go fuck other people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, good for you. That's although I would like yeah to fuck a, to date a girl who fucks girls. Yeah, that I fun. date a lot of them, pretty yeah. much in Stop Brooklyn. Bragging. Well, in Brooklyn. In what? A lot of them. Well, I did a lot of girls. Yeah, I'm that were from just... I'm from the all hoses lesbians <laughs> school of thought. You know what I'm saying? No, like a lot of girls that were just dating a girl that kind of looked like me. Right, right, you know, right, right. I've right, been in that right, position right. multiple times. I think we both could be in that position. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Both, if I put on a bowling shirt, we look <laughs> like ninety like percent of lesbians. I'm like a good transition back <laughs> yeah. into cock. It's not that scary of a yeah, penis. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's yeah. like a. It's you know, a starter cock. It's a welcoming penis. Yeah, absolutely. If you're if you're afraid of them, it's like not that's yeah. It's whatever. not scary. Um, we're both very gentle boys. That's why, like with lesbians, like I really split the room with lesbians when I meet them. They either oh they absolutely they fucking hate me. Fucking yeah. hate me. <laughs> of course, or they, they hate love you. me, and a lot of them hate me because I think some of them see me as a com- threat. Competitive. Yeah, I fucking there's yeah. a, there's like a trans coffee shop. Oh boy, uh, in my old neighborhood, like a trans lesbian <laughs> bookstore coffee shop, and I would go in there to get coffee sometimes, and I really felt like a fucking OSS agent in East Germany. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a uh, uh, dunk uh, 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 one. Coffee schnitzel, <laughs> Donka. Were you always dressed? Was that was that in your fucking sea captain? Yeah. Era? Well, I know I would wear an SS outfit to, <laughs> to blend in. That's what I meant by I felt like a an OSS agent. And when I, I was in a Germany. coffee shop uh, when I first moved to New York, and I remember there were these. It was just me and the, these two lesbians that were breaking up with each other. And I noticed in the middle of it that we were all wearing the same pair of Teva sandals. <laughs> Six Tevas. I love that shit. Yeah, I think I already great. said this before, but when I dropped my lesbian cousin off at a Burning Man potluck... Oh God! There were literally five Subaru hatchbacks. It might have been six. Had to just have been. there. That yeah. clown it was that, awesome. That rape victim clown I used to live with brought me to a Burning Man party one time. I was Burning Man friends, and I heard the gayest shit I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> life in the backyard. There was some like fucking snooty douchebag from like I don't know the fucking Bay Area. Yeah, you know in the backyard, and he's like very cuntily saying to this girl he's there with, he's like. You know, the thing that I've noticed is, like, West Coast burners are, like, more sort of free spirit, you know, like, sort of like chill <laughs> people. Whereas East Coast burners are, like, it's very, like, Renfest vibe, you know? <laughs> and it, I, it took everything I had not to just be like, no, you're also a faggot. If that's what you're trying to say? Is that everyone here is a faggot. You especially, actually, because you're somehow a snob about being a faggot. But, no, don't make no mistake. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely a uh, piece of shit. Truly gay. Yeah. yeah, fuck, fuck it. I mean... I don't think anyone thinks Burning Man is cool at this point. I have a friend who thinks it's really cool. Trevor it's thinks it's very lame. cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. He goes that makes every sense. year. That makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just... But here, the, the problem with fucking Burning Man is just like... It's people who are like, oh, yeah, it's just like there's no economy. And it's like you just trade goods and Not shit. Not anymore. Like, now there's like rich people tend. Yeah, that's now what it's it is. All, now it's, it's all rich, Silicon Valley. Right. They yeah. all yeah. fucking put, go in there and they spend... Oh, there's no economy. But you spend like $14,000 to yeah. make a restaurant for three days. Yeah. Or it's like, oh, it's like anarchy. And then a couple years ago, some guy set the Burning Man on fire early, and they called the police on him. <laughs> <laughs> like, they had him arrested. What a bunch of fucking yeah, yeah. pussies! <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Burning Man. Uh, no, we just want a different society. Like this is it, it addresses all the problems in society by making the people who are gay in power and, <laughs> instead of people we disagree with. They have to be gay and white and rich. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, fuck yeah, Burning Man fucking gay. sucks. That's all, all. All the friends I had as like a teenager were all like like that. They loved music festivals and 
That's almost that kind of acceptable as a fucking 15-year-old, though. Yeah, I know, but you they know, didn't grow out of it. Right, right, right. Yeah. It'd be funny. Uh, I was, I've was. i said this a million times before, but it'd be funny to go to Burning Man dressed as Bernie Mac and be like, <laughs> now what the hell is this? <laughs> that would be a good day. I ain't yeah, even yeah. his foolishness. I thought this was a Burning Mac festival. <laughs> How do you dress like Bernie Mac? I don't know. So you just mean a blackface? <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, you'd have to be yes, a black full face. blackface and then yeah. linen naked. pants, yeah, linen yeah, yeah. shirt. Oh, you should get his the the outfit from the I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. Oh, set. of course, yes, the airbrushed <laughs> pants with his face on them. <laughs> that is quite the outfit. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Now, how many of y'all like sex? <laughs> Woo! I do. It's like I'm celibate, boys. I decided I'm not fucking anymore. It's a choice. Yeah. And if anybody wants to fuck me, they can try, but it, it's not going to end up the way you want. I so. like that. I like that. P- That's my new stance. I'm playing hard to get on the world. Yeah. I, definitely- I, 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 would, I would stop having sex if I could just not have acid reflux for like <laughs> every day of my fucking life. <laughs> what have you been eating, bro? I don't know. I, I ate it and it, like I drank like a, a, a quart of milk last night before bed. And that didn't help? Is that uh, supposed to help? No. A I woke quart? Up, yeah. That's a lot of milk. Isn't that shit basic or whatever? I don't know. No, I woke up with like searing stomach pain again <laughs> and like it kept me up for like 30 minutes and then really? I woke up this morning I'm like almost throwing up in my mouth. Damn, maybe you can't eat that fucking dairy, bro. Yeah. I, do, I was doing a fun little open mic bit last couple of weeks about how acid reflux sounds like way too cool for what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a hacker from the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it just means you throw up in your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, acid reflux sounds like a cool manga. I get it from drinking and uh, cocaine. Doing cocaine? Yeah. yeah. I, I get it from smoking cigarettes at night. And smoking and cigarettes. And also going to bed on a cool Yeah, night. I've never had it. I've never had acid yeah. reflux or heartburn of any kind. That's. I mean, the thing is, my diet's been shit forever. I'm like, I don't understand. I didn't change my diet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I continue to smoke and yeah, then, you know, eat shit. do blow. I know, dude. That's. I had such a depressing realization that it's like... Uh, like in my head, I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm never gonna not be fat, whatever. But then I was like, oh wait a second, I don't have to like, you know. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna lose, try and lose weight, whatever. But it's like, your body just keeps getting worse. Mm-hmm. There's no like, I'm gonna have to do work to just maintain being like sort of fat instead of like really? obese. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's dude. gonna fuck up your ankles and your hips too. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, get you're gonna hip be like a French bulldog, like a golden retriever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'd love to be a French bulldog. I'm an English bulldog. Who's kidding who? You're a chihuahua with a dick in so a uh, dick in its mouth, Adam. A chihuahua? Yeah, and you're a, a gay uh <laughs> nice one, other dude. dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> woo woo, you got him, dude. <laughs> I'm all 101 of the Dalmatians. I'm every single one of them. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know about dogs enough to make this joke. I just yeah. picked Chihuahua because it was the gayest dog I knew. Oh, no, yeah, well, Poodle. Had, Poodle's gayer. They had that website where you could plug, you could put somebody's face in it and it told you what dog you were. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, and uh, we put, I put in Carly Fiorina, and it came back with Collie. Which is great because that's what they, all the fucking mass holes were calling her Carly. at the Carly Fiorina rally in, New, in Hampshire. New Hampshire when I was there. They're like, "Where's Carly? <laughs> we came here to see Carly." <laughs> put her face in. I love that you can just be a rich person and then like run for president as a Republican. Well, now, well, yeah. I mean, fuck, I, yeah, you love it. I mean, you love Trump. I think it's funny that. But then I said that in a world, thinking about a world where they like you forgot get out. Trump. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep forgetting he's president. <laughs> Me dude. too, all the time. So, although those Mitt Romney picks were so awesome, amazing. <laughs> it's like uh, he just like got caught with a side bitch look on his face. It's yeah, so poor good. Mitt Romney. Yeah, poor handsome rich. Yeah. Well, Mormon, no, it's like it's Mormon. like you know when a guy gets like you know fucked in jail and then he has to become the wife. <laughs> yeah. And I miss like no, actually, I I I enjoy being in this position. <laughs> Why is he it actually doing that, though? it actually it feels good to be Mrs. Trump? It's, power- <laughs> it's powerful. <laughs> Why does he give a fuck? He's rich. He's fucking. He's out of public life. Why does he? Why does he have to? Hang out with Trump. Why does he want to? I think because you get a lot of fucking money, you know, by by doing like uh, speeches and shit after you're out of office. You can you can make a shit ton of money. No, but but why is he fucking hanging out with Trump? Why does he just go fucking speak at like, you know, he could be like the you never can have enough money. Yeah, you're right. You look at this because of this podcast. I am now literally a thousandaire. (laughs) You know, I mean. 
we're we're making we're making okay money. We're in a steady clip. Mm-hmm. I bought a new laptop the other day. Did you? Yeah. What'd yeah. you get? Uh, one of those small MacBooks. Oh, the fuck. cheap. The oh, you got one. one. Yeah, Maybe I'll get yeah, the cheapest nice. one because I need it. My laptop. How much fun. was it? Like sixteen. Yeah, it's about that. Yeah, yeah. I bought a damn PS4, baby. Yeah, um, in a blender, bitch. But now, now the next thing I gotta buy is I need a I need a Toyota GT86. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you so can't. True. That's twenty six thousand dollars. So. Looks like I'm gonna have to double my money, <laughs> and then once I get that, what's after that? Uh, a fucking blimp. <laughs> I gotta buy a fucking zeppelin to fly around Yo, Manhattan and I throw pennies at orphans. <laughs> what happened with blimps? You know, like I think they, they just they exploded a lot. The Hindenburg yeah, yeah. exploded. I fucking know exactly what happened. No, no, no. So like the Hindenburg explodes, <laughs> and before the Hindenburg, they were like, "This is how people are gonna get around," but it gets it goes real slow. Like, the, why the, do they think that was a good idea for how people were gonna get around? It's very comfortable. I mean, it's like it's it, very it probably smooth. Feels awesome. Boats didn't go out of out of fashion. People still take cruises. The thing, the reason, the real, and then they're like, "No, we're gonna only have them, but for sports now." It's, it's because that is true. No, uh, it's because of the lifting gas used in a lot of the blimps that caused like the the Hindenburg disaster was. Um, was uh, hydrogen. They had to use hydrogen uh-huh. because only the U.S. had access to helium. And uh, during the war, we weren't like giving helium to the the rest of the world. Right, right, so right. all like m- like most non U.S. blimps were mm-hmm. using hydrogen as a lifting gas, which is really dangerous, which is what caused the Hindenburg yeah. to explode. And then that sort of destroyed the market for it elsewhere. And then yeah. the U.S. eventually stopped. You know, what were they well. doing with the helium? Were they like prank calling Hitler, like yeah, with yeah, really yeah. high voices? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That would have been yeah. fun. <laughs> no, nah, but I mean, I, that's like the one thing I get annoyed with. Like, <laughs> you see people, I think I would have gone a little. See people riding like, like dumbass motor or, or, or like uh, bicycles and shit. And there's like with yeah, the two every wheels? type of technology comes back. All these steampunk assholes, but they don't bring back the best one, Blimps. which is a full size like ZL1 Graf Zeppelin. <laughs> which I would love to, with the swastika, by the way. Of course, <laughs> absolutely. You have to. Yeah. It is so funny to see something so like fun and benevolent looking, and then yeah. having a fucking swastika. No, I'm telling you, man. Like, if I had enough money, the two things I would want mm. is to live in a big Nazi zeppelin above Manhattan, <laughs> mm. where no one, there's no rules up there. It's yeah, it's like how, international like, yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or is that how, how far up do you have to I, be? I would no, just, no, I would literally, I would sit like, up there. And I would fucking gamble, and I'd, I'd cuss. Fuck children. You'd and wear an I'd eye patch for no reason. With child pornography. <laughs> I don't even like the shit. It's just fucking how how much money I got, and I'm using child porn as toilet paper, <laughs> emptying the toilet, you know, from the tight. sky all over the city. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Dave Matthews Band. Uh, I guess. They, their tour bus like emptied out the the shit onto the sh- into the Chicago River and there was a boat like under the bridge hmm. and they like fucking covered it. Oh, <laughs> but no. it was so funny. It was Dave Matthews who did it. Yeah, that's um, hilarious. What's Dave up to these days? Did you ever listen to Dave Matthews? No, uh, producing uh, more shit. <laughs> Wait, you said, oh, guy, you said oh, they well. emptied all the shit out of the tour bus. You mean they had a concert? <laughs> 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 Woo! Yeah. Woo! Um. Yeah, I've always been. Yeah. Pro oh, Jack the other Johnson. goal. The other goal. If I had money, no. uh, buy uh, uh, what is it? Anchor Watt. What's that? That, that like him? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that jungle that temple. Yeah, yeah. It's these, those old like Thai, like you know, like very ornate like jungle temples. Uh huh. Have one of those, and then have a bunch of fucking monkey servants like King Louis. <laughs> That'd be dope. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if they would be servants or just. I would just like to live among them and you know establish some kind of society. Get fucked up on hallucinogens all day long. Mm-hmm. They'd have to be servants, dude, because then they'd fucking overtake you. Otherwise, well, they could overtake. That's why it has to be democratic. Oh, I, mean, I see. I you know. see. Or maybe not. You maybe you have to establish dominance. I'm forgetting yeah, you have if to nature isn't. Uh, you have to fucking shoot the strongest monkey. The first yeah, day yeah, you're yeah. there, you show up, you fuck up, you rape the strongest monkey. Man, yeah, I'm, and then I'm they reading, respect you. I'm reading Blood you. Meridian. And like, oh, s- I'm reading it as well. Yeah, there's so much good <laughs> shit in there. So like, they're, they're they're like they just you know it's a gang of like in like scalpers you know in the fucking old west or whatever. Yeah, yeah Texas, the cattle Mexico. guys. I literally yeah. am reading it. Well, it's based on uh, bitch. It's based on like, yeah. uh, are you? I am for real. Oh, okay. So oh, I want to set up. 
But that, did you get to the part yet where they're like they're traveling and they go to that like cantina and they meet the guy that has like a retard in a cage? <laughs> no, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got he's got his like retarded brother naked in a cage and the retarded brother just like eats shit and smears it all over himself. And they're like, "What what what you planning on doing with that?" And he's like, "I'm taking him to California, <laughs> to show him to people for a nickel." <laughs> 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 That's the guy that did the road and yeah, the road no, and country. no country. Yeah, word. yeah. I've yeah. never read. I'm trying actually. to read to be not stupid anymore, dude. Well, it's good for like, it's not good for not being stupid. Cause you always be stupid, but in terms of like making shit, I mean, it's definitely easier to be creative when you have more inputs, right? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, man. If reading books makes you smart. Is what I what I remember. No, it doesn't. When I used to read books, I was smarter than I am now. I'm stupid as shit. All I fucking do is play. Now I've just played PlayStation 4. Yeah, well, that's because you got to play smart games, dude. Oh, really? Have you played Bioshock? <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking... That'll open your mind. Really? Like Ayn Rand and stuff. Okay. And, yeah. yeah. I'll and check it out. Activism and... and, and uh, I usually just play... relativity. It's a, it's a fucking really cool game. Plus, you get to shoot children. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Bioshock I, is one of the best games of all time. I know I say that joking, but uh, holy shit, that game is good. I've never played... I usually I just play uh, Dead or Alive Volleyball. Yeah. Where it's those big titty Japanese yeah, ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. That was a good one. I legitimately am going to download it on the PlayStation Network. Do you remember Virtua Tennis? Hell yes, I remember Virtua Tennis. One of the best dude. sports games ever. You remember when you could hack uh, Lara Croft Tomb Raider to get her titties out? Yep. No, I don't remember that. Wasn't that fake? Hack. No, no, no that, that was, was real. Was real dog. That was like a I saw very those pixelated conversation. Hell yes. Dude. Yeah, it was like the quality <laughs> yeah. was so low. They were terrible. They didn't look like titties at all. It was just like cones, and the. Nick. Yeah, that's what tits look like, dude. <laughs> they look like cones. <laughs> um, Bioshock seems like it's too fucking hard, dude. It's too it's too fucking involved. No, it's actually pretty easy. Really? Yeah, it's it's that's like the one thing that's disappointing about it is it wasn't like particularly difficult. I hate that shit where there's like so much inventory and shit. I just want a Grand Theft Auto style open world. That's kind of what it is. It's not like an RPG. Or oh, anything. really? Yeah, oh, no, okay. it's a first person shooter. Oh, so. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, like inventory in the sense that you have like. Five or six guns. Tight. Yes. Yeah, but, no. Yo, you know. Mafia 3, have you guys seen the fucking shit for that? That no. looks awesome. I want to play that shit. I'm about to download so many games. I'm going to quit comedy and just play PlayStation. Yeah. I, I, I fucking, I, I got to get a couple more truck jobs before the season ends so I can buy a TV. Dude, I really want one of those 4K TVs. I want to watch that new Planet Earth. Why? Actually, here's my, here's my goal, yeah. is to download a new Planet Earth. Dub it over with G. George and make Planet Earth. <laughs> and it's like, you know, like elephants, you know, going to the lake to eat, drink or whatever. And then you just say, now how many of y'all like sex? <laughs> and then the elephants start fucking. Hell yeah, dude. Planet G. Earth. G. George. Planet Earth. Planet Earth. That's the joke, folks. It's how they say Earth. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? It didn't... Everyone would, when they quoted Will Smith, say, Welcome to Earth, would be yeah. like, Welcome to Earth. But he yeah. never even said Earth. Yeah. He says Earth. In, in Independence? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't and, remember then they, that. and then they would add the N word at the end. <laughs> yeah. He didn't say that either. <laughs> I don't remember that part of the movie. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Remember, you know, I loved uh, there, there was her or, uh, uh, comedian Earthquake. Yeah, of course. And then there was a guy in D.C. that was comedian Hurricane. It's was like, there? You can't just oh, the be... fat guy, the fat white guy. Yeah, that fat white just guy. He was t- oh, oh yeah, John Hur. Yeah, yeah, John yeah. Hur Hurricane. Yeah. yeah, his name was a pun, which makes it even shittier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's terrible. No, he looked like Family Guy, and he had a joke about that. He did. Yeah, that yeah, was his opener. He had a joke about it. He's like, and he would carry around fake glasses, and he's like, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm Peter Griffin or whatever. <laughs> it's like that's come on, man. So bad. Yeah, but he looked exactly like him. Yeah, to his did. credit, he did. Yeah. That was his best credit. Was well, there's a guy that goes to like uh, anime conventions dressed as uh, Peter Griffin. I see, I've seen that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, actually, that guy, he's pretty good at. Legitimately, it. looks exactly. He like looks it. exactly like him, and he does the impression pretty well. Yeah, Hurricane couldn't really do the impression. Was that guy like a fucking lobby or something? DC was so fucking weird, dude. Yeah. You would get like rich people <laughs> that are just like, "Yep, I want to fucking do." Oh yeah, up. there were a bunch of rich people. Why the that fuck are you doing that? You have a better life. You have did, a good did life. I, did I mention rich. the sit down rich comic? Better. Yeah, yeah. The sit down huh? comic. Did we talk about him? No, I don't think so. Oh, that was. Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the handicapped guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's, uh, there's only so much uh, uh, I can pull out of those wiseacres days. Yeah. Did I mentioned Tom Flood. 
problem. Uh, Tom yeah, Flood, the, the severely guy. autistic yeah, yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. If you Who take this good? on the road, that yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, Diesel said that about yeah, it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> telling you, if you brought him on the road, he would murder. <laughs> <laughs> that, Diesel just wanted to put him in that cage like the retard. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm taking him to California, <laughs> and I'm showing him to people for a nickel. <laughs> Take him to California. Who else was fucking... We've, have we talked about Irwin? I'm sure we have. Yeah, we talked about oh, yeah, Irwin. We talked about I had him to bleep his cucked. name. Yeah. <laughs> and someone immediately found him. <laughs> I need more input. Uh, what about the fat doctor? The that fat doctor. Funny. Yeah. Legend. Just homophobic. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Was I'm he just, a doctor? Yeah, he was a doctor. He was an OBGYN. Yeah. Oh, the best kind. <laughs> My no. friend growing up, he was like black, and his granddad was like one of the most successful black gynecologists in DC. Uh-huh. So he had this really fucking swanky house uh-huh. in like Bethesda. The house. It was, yeah. It was like a real nice house. But the guy bought it in like 19. Did I mention this already? No, no, no. He bought it in like. Probably like the late sixties, decorated it, and then it was like, yeah, this is what the house looks like. <laughs> so he had like this, but it was like gorgeous. It was like a swingers palace. It was yeah, it was like a fucking. It was on like a hill, so it was like split level, and uh, the all of the back of the house like opened up to this like pool in the backyard, and it was like sort of like a greenhouse style, you know, like kitchen and living room mm-hmm. and stuff, and then like, but you know, even like the light fixtures were like uh, coffee black. Right. With like weird, you know, oval shaped switches and a lot of that, like, uh, what is it, like Populux sort of look to it. And What's that? Uh, it's like a style of like, uh, like, you know, graphic design, uh-huh. you know, uh, like boomerang coffee tables and shit. And yeah. like, all, oh, yeah. like all that owl shit. Like yes. Yeah. All that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vintage owl. A lot stuff. of mahogany and shit, like, like dark woods. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That stuff. An interior stone garden. Oh, uh, hell yeah. yeah. Any all velvet? These, uh, a lot of black velvet. Oof. A lot of black velvet. A, sculptures they... of like like black onyx sculptures of jaguars and shit. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Like this Fuck was yes, that's but, so awesome. Yeah, and he had this old rolls, like an old uh, really? like silver wraith in that. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, this old black gynecologist, and uh, he looked like in the pictures he sort of looked like Don King in yes. around the house, and it was me and Brendan would laugh yes. so much about him like. Just like, yeah, I only use my mouth. <laughs> and that's how he made all his money, is buying, being the number one pussy eater in D.C. That's, Wouldn't it be funny if there was a, a handless, an armless that? gynecologist? Do they have Chinese shit? Uh, I don't remember much Chinese shit. I think that's maybe more 1970s. Their, their next door neighbor was uh, 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 fucking uh, James Brown from Fox Sports. Oh, oh JB. yeah? Yeah, yeah, Hell JB. yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't realize JB fucking lived in Bethesda. Yeah, I guess he does. Damn. We went to watch the Super Bowl one time at their house, and like JB pulled up in the driveway next to us, and we were like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, you guys watching this the game? This is a magical TV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks so real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I saw I saw uh, Berman. Uh, Chris Berman. Chris Berman. In... He's a, he lives in Baltimore, right? No, I don't think... I don't know where it was. I saw him. I was in, I was in Providence. And he just had the flattest ass I've ever seen him. He has a total like too. fat guy, like just out f- straight mm-hmm. and just like flat ass, like Hank Hill, like total Hank Hill physique. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. And he was kind of a dick. Really? He's taking forever at the fat. Well, way. yeah, he's a he's a New England guy. That's right. It makes sense. I think he's so. up there, Rhode Island. That's really bad for you to have a shitty ass. Yeah, dude. Bad I got a plump a shitty ass. Yeah, I got a well, to shitty have ass. a to have a weak posterior chain. That's where you get a lot of mechanical problems in your body. That's why I'm a, you have I'm a strong specimen. ass, strong hammies, strong limber hammies, good yes. strong ass. Yes, baby. Yeah, that's what's important in life. Strong ass cheeks. I'm fucked. Yeah, you well, you're squat, a weak dude. bitch, dude. You are a weak bitch. Sorry. <laughs> but you we should fuck apologize. Adam up and steal his shit. I'm going to steal your coat. I didn't bring it. By the time the winter's through, that'll be my coat. That's my look, dude. <laughs> dude, I know it's your look, bitch, but yeah. I'm stealing it. I'm going to get the Tims and the Yankee fit. I'm going to steal and it. And I'm going to get NBA jeans. That's going to be my look. NBA jeans. Fuck. I'm I gonna forgot be about those. XL North Face sleeping bag jacket. Yes, okay. Tims, Yankee fitted. If you get NBA the NBA jeans, jeans, I will not steal your coat. Otherwise, I will steal your well, coat. Well, I'm going to get them. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Do they make these in skinny? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have joggers? 
Yeah, can I get? <laughs> yeah. I'd love some. I'd love a more skin tapered. tight NBA <laughs> jeans. I'd love like a more tapered NBA yeah. jean. You should get skin tight apple bottom jeans with like an extremely <laughs> loose ass, <laughs> just hanging like a fanny like pack on a fucking lady. shitty body. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh fuck, dude. That was a very 1990s look. Like the that was the last no, good was... thing Steve Jobs did. Is those bottom jeans. Have a bottom jeans. Yeah. <laughs> We're rethinking what black women's asses look like. <laughs> Just Steve Jobs on that stage in a turtleneck. <laughs> it's not enough to just have ass. You got to make the booty pop. This is what consumers want. This is what we're thinking about. Uh, Steve, are you going to take your cancer medicine? No. <laughs> Smoothies. I'm taking yeah. ayahuasca for it. I'm going to text my way out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rethink cancer. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. Dude, a bunch of years ago or whatever, we had jobs, cash, and whatever. You know the fucking meme. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. But yeah, 10 years ago, we had Steve Jobs, Bruce Jenner, <laughs> <laughs> Anton and, uh, and the Twin Towers. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! God damn. I feel good, dude. I had a smoothie today, a green smoothie. Oh, what'd you put in that? My man, I put some damn spinach, some kale, some. I put a tomato in that bitch. I need some produce. Put an apple in there, Amber, too. Amber's got a apple blender. Apple. Amber's got a blender, and I'm thinking about blending some shit up. Dog, I getting got in it. the juice. You know what I need, though, is like uh, glass jars to put the juice in. You don't need that shit. They don't keep well. And you know what? Glass jars really don't keep well. <laughs> That's why I, I started using these new stuff the, from the container store. Are you, you doing Adam's for, thing where you steal the thing that someone says right before? No, no, I was doing a live read for our sponsor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, continue. Use promo code Cometown at the container store. <laughs> <laughs> or just go in there and, and if, you say, if you go up to the cashier and say... Where am I? <laughs> yes. Nope. That's part of the promo. You, you have, have to, to say use it. Call the in the N word at the container store and get 15% off all orders now. Go in. Christmas special. Just go into any store, really. Scream the N word. Say, come town. Give me the come town discount. <laughs> For our sponsors, every our sponsor, every store in the country. Uh, a Jimmy Jazz. Go to Jimmy Jazz. Um, go to Apple Bottom Jeans. Applebottomjeans dot com. Say, let me get a let me get a free sample. Let me get a taste <laughs> test. <laughs> and then try and sniff the the sales girl's ass. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when like it was hot for girls to have fake tits and no ass? Like Adriana La Serva. No. From Who's Sopranos. Adriana? No, I never thought that was attractive. But that was like a very nineteen nineties thing. No, yeah. Not no ass. See, that's the thing. When people say no ass, it's just yeah. Nin- nineties women were trash. Just like stringy blonde, like bleached out, shitty hair. Yeah. yeah. Fake I mean, tits and no. I certainly ass. Pr- prefer a thicker woman. I used to be friends with this guy Connor when I was like a teenager, and Connor was like telling this story one time. He's like such a funny dude. I wish I kept in in contact with that guy. He's, he's like, I fucked him. He was like, he's like, yeah, I was down in Florida a couple of weeks ago, and I, uh, I hooked up with these two uh, really methy looking chicks, <laughs> just fucking platinum blonde hair. It looks like they cut it with safety scissors. <laughs> he's like, uh, we spent the whole week there. I guess they were free on addicts, so they were showing me how to. <laughs> You know, rip the pipes out of an air conditioner. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. They're like raccoons. They're yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah, Freon addicts. <clears throat> what do you even do with Freon? You suck it? You huff it, yeah. You suck huff them it. tubes. Oh, yeah. Girl. <laughs> like My friend that on. used to do a lot of drugs told me that one way to get really high for not a lot of money is ga- is gas. Like gasoline. Just yeah. Huff really? Have you seen Love, Liza? No. Oh, man. That's such a good movie. You'd love it. It's Philip Seymour Hoffman. And he plays this guy whose wife had just she's just killed herself like at the beginning uh-huh. of the movie. Yeah. And she's left him a letter and he like can't bring himself to read it. So, you know, he's at work and he's fucking up and he just like can't stay focused. And they're like, man, maybe you should take a break. And then he's just sitting in his house and like he's like half cleared out. And uh, he's like trying to clean the house to get ready to move out of it because he just can't deal with it. And he just takes picks up like the rag, you know, he's like cleaning with. Mm-hmm. And just start, he gets into huffing. Yeah, um, damn. He eventually graduates to gas, and then he needs a way to justify his uh, gas addiction. So he gets really <laughs> into like RC planes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like him getting really into RC planes and becoming like progressively more and more retarded from the gas. Whoa. 
Yeah. Whoa. What did the letter say? Uh, I uh, he reads it at the end. I, f- I forget. I haven't seen the movie in like ten years, but it's really good. What if the letter was like, "I fucked all your friends." Yeah. Don't be sad about it's me. It's like whatever you do, don't do gas. <laughs> wow, deep. Whoa, whoa, dude. That's like Came sort of full like circle. Memento, profound. Yeah. yeah. What you guys' favorite movie? Mine's Memento. Is it? No, I don't have. I don't know what. I, I saw never a know guy on a say. bus once that had like tattoos from Memento no. on his body. What a douchebag, right? That sucks. Yeah, yeah. Dick. I was on a bus in Manhattan, and that's terrible. Terrible. Dude. Yeah, John Q killed my wife or whatever. Yeah, that's stupid as John shit. John Q? What's his name? No, not that's, John Q. Yeah. <laughs> not the Denzel. My son movie. is going to get a heart transplant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen to me, Jake. <laughs> Jake, okay? All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> It's like, yeah, Denzel, how about just don't laugh in the movie? <laughs> yeah. It's not convincing anyone. You think he had the worst laugh? I think I still think Ray Liotta's got the worst laugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's like it's a, that's a terrible, terrible fake laugh. Yeah, I think I think uh, we all have really good laughs. Yeah, well, those are real. I'm talking yeah. about fake movie laughs. Yeah, the actors who can't laugh. Hmm, who else? Who else can't laugh, boys? Uh, people listening to this podcast. Oh right? yeah. snap! Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck, man? Shut up, yeah. bitch. Shut up, Nick, you motherfucker. Well, you I'm little, just being honest. You little bitch-ass bitch. Yeah, you're the fucking bitch here, pal. Dude, take it back. Do not try me. Take it back. I'll fucking stuff that dumb shirt right up your what ass. What dumb shirt? You're wearing your this fucking one. comedy knockout shirt you've been for eight days. This is a free shirt, bitch. It's laundry week. I'm also wearing shorts. Yeah, you, I gotta. Stupid. I gotta fold all my clothes and put them away. Then I'll change. How many clothes do you own? Um, A, a decent amount. Two pants. I don't have many pairs of pants. Eight shirts. True. I got, I got into, I bought a pair of, like, uh, Levi's, like, Dickies, like, uh, I guess Chico's or mm-hmm. whatever, and I found them again. They're great. Chino's. Chino's. Chico's? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck they're called. Chico's. Chino's. Bitch, they're not called Chico's. That's a place. Retard. It's a fucking place. It's, it's still a, a word. It's a woman's It's a word I say <laughs> once a year. I'm My allowed to fuck it up. Yeah. They have, like, fucking Chino's. tropical What the fuck clothing. are they called, Dad? They're called work pants. No, Why do we decide we're going to let a, a different race <clears throat> tell us what our pants are called? Well, it's, na- it's Latino for Chinese. For Chinese, yeah. The yeah. hardest workers. What? Well, Latinos from the got railroads. too many damn words. They call, it, they call, like, that's like a... Uh, excuse me, but I am Chicano. It's like, well, you're not Latino? It's like, yeah, I'm not too. I'm like, well, which <laughs> well, one? Well, Latinx. Yeah, Latinx. I like that. Oh Spanish yeah, Spanish robot. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's here's you know what Spanish Here, guy from the Matrix. If there's anyone still listening to this episode, here's uh, here's a good Photoshop challenge for you. Uh, I came up with this one. If you want to try and draw uh, R two Chew two, <laughs> it's uh, it's a Chinese robot covered in ants and slime. <laughs> what? It's Arthur Chu is a robot. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, R two R two Chew two. R2 Choo Choo. Yeah, just put his face covered yeah, in ants. Yeah, fan, he's beating got time. He got a divorce. It's funny. We, I think we shit on him for that already. Yeah. The thing, nothing, this is what sucks is that, like, there's nothing really to talk about except all this bullshit politics stuff know, that Adam and likes. Sucks. And it's not funny. I don't want to talk about you it. You always dude. want to talk about it. No, I don't. You always try and figure out a way to bring it up. That's why we had to kick you off the show. Yeah, dude. I know. I'm sorry. I'm really glad you guys had me back. No, you're you're the guest this week. Yeah, I'm glad. You won't be back. We don't know who we're gonna book next week. It's gonna be Weave. <laughs> we're gonna replace Adam with Weave, and he's gonna be the third chair on the podcast. We're all gonna move to Serbia. <laughs> Is that where he lives? Yeah, he lives in exile. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. He's like Bobby Fischer. If he has a of, Twitter account, instead of, instead of chess, Bobby Fischer was just initially good at being racist. As well. yeah. He's a prodigy. <laughs> There's no turn. <laughs> he just cut out the middle man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just went right for racism. Just for right for Jews control everything. He's a he's a weird ass dude. Fucking Bobby Fischer, man. Yeah. Have you seen that that documentary about him? Finding Bobby Fischer. No, I think that was a movie, right? Yeah, it was. That's where you're the man now, dog comes from. No, no, really? that's Finding Forrester. Yeah, it's Finding Forrester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the man now, dog. You're the man now, dog. You yeah. stupid that, motherfucker. That revolutionized the internet. 
that you're dumb the man website. Now, dog? Yeah, that was like a huge thing. Is is you're the man now, dog? That's a website. It was a website. Somebody made a website. You're the man now, dog, and it was just a picture of Sean Connery mm-hmm. repeating. All oh the page, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like text coming out of the screen that says you're the man now, dog, <laughs> and on a loop him saying you're the man now, dog. You're the man now, dog. You're... And then the guy who owned that website set it up so other people could create that, where you'd like pick the image, pick the right, words, right, right. And mm-hmm. then oh yeah, the I remember that shit. And that was like. You know, before memes or whatever, that was a huge website where people would create those mm-hmm. "You're the Man Now" dog things. Right, right, right. And uh, and the guy that owned that website also owned DustinDiamond dot com, <laughs> and uh, it's like official website of international sex symbol Dustin Diamond. And this was before like the sex video had come right, out. Right, right, right. So it was just like he was just Screech. Yeah, he was just Screech. Right, right, and it was right. like home of international sex symbol. And fucking Dustin Diamond sued the guy that owned the website for control of the domain. And the guy that owned the domain was like 24. His name was Max something. I forget. And he like uh, represented himself in the suit and like successfully convinced the judge. He's like, no, it's obviously a joke. He doesn't own the domain. He didn't buy it. He had plenty of time to buy it. And like nobody thinks of him as a sex symbol. So it's clear parody. And the judge is like, yeah, I don't see why anyone would want to fuck this man. So I guess you're right. <laughs> and Dustin Diamond, I, he, this might have changed, but as of like you know, ten years ago, he was the only person to ever lose a suit like that. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the shit that sent him spiraling, dude. Losing yeah, that suit, maybe. And he's fucking. Were those prostitutes in that sex tape? Have you ever seen his rider, Dustin Diamond's rider? I hear it's like legendary. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's yeah. So it's good. like there must be six Miller lights in my green room. Exactly six. I want them in a bucket. You know, it's always bullshit. Shit. Right. But, you know, he has that rider, and then half the places he plays don't even have a fucking green room. <laughs> right, right. Because I remember right. seeing that rider, and literally the next week, Eltringham was opening for him at Lestrani's, <laughs> which is like an Italian <laughs> restaurant that has comedy. <laughs> and so instead of a green room, Dustin Diamond just has to stand at the bar <laughs> waiting for his turn to go up. <laughs> yeah, that shit's so annoying that comedy clubs book people like Dustin Diamond yeah. to fucking. Who goes out to see Screech yeah. do stand-up, I mean, dude? you can't put Screech on the posters either because he doesn't own the rights to it or something. And he would probably be probably one of those guys like, don't say Screech. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he can't. I'm uh, a novelist. Uh, <laughs> was it Jimmy J.J. Walker? Yeah, yeah. yeah. from uh, Good Times. Good Times, yeah. He, he does stand-up and like he won't say, uh, he won't say the line. He won't yeah, say dynamite? Yeah, he won't do it. Damn. Yeah, that's the only reason anyone's going to see. Yeah, dude, dance. I saw. You know who I would go see always? Michael Winslow. Hell yeah, dude, he's awesome. Yeah. Well, he's got the actual <laughs> skill. Yeah, yeah. Dude, a fucking. <laughs> there's, there's a video of Michael that's a great Winslow. Skill. Yeah. There's a video of Michael Winslow doing like the first five minutes of Star Wars. Uh, really? Where he just does all the sound effects of Star Wars the That's first five awesome. minutes and it's and it's sick. amazing yeah dude the fuck that he like nails all the scene changes where we'll like cut to a Tie Fighter for like half a second and he's just like <laughs> you know and he, like just has all the, like back to the lasers you know he just doesn't miss a fucking beat but it's that's just black autism <laughs> yeah oh absolutely yeah. Black oh autism. yeah, he's OG black nerd. <clears throat> you know that's, about you know about that's that. black ner- that's black nerd magic, dude. Yeah, <laughs> black, black retard magic. magic. <laughs> that's what's gonna get Hillary <laughs> Hillary elected is black retard magic. <laughs> you saw that thing? Uh, there's like uh, it was on uh, I guess the Blaze or something, but she's considering Hillary. Oh my god, that was the funniest thing I've ever I, seen I in so my life. That. I so hope she's... 2020, dude. Yeah, yeah. Then then life stops being <laughs> real, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> let's root against her. It'll be hilarious. Yeah, It'll be so you, funny. I wish I could just fast forward four years and, <laughs> and, and watch that happen again. <laughs> or if we could just have an election now and she loses again, how funny would that be? <laughs> Like, all right, some tech, some electoral college yeah, yeah, yeah. loophole. There's another election, and she still loses. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck! Oh, what if he just? What if Trump passes a law that says that they have to have an election every month, and Hillary has to go against him again? <laughs> <laughs> and for the next four years, they just keep redoing the election. He's like, "Looks like you lose again." <laughs> he probably would, do, dude. He would love elections way more yeah, than yeah, being yeah. the president. I would love that. That would be great. That's what he likes. It would create. So rooms. many jobs. You know how fucking hard it would be to have an election every month. Yeah, that's true. That would we could just be a country that lives off elections. Ooh, big election. What jobs? The counting. <laughs> they don't get money for that. Yeah, I they think do. Why, why the fuck they does Jill Stein do. need fucking seven million dollars then if people don't get paid to count? I don't know. They definitely get paid. They get no. It's because people need to. They have to oh, count the all the ballots. The, by I guess hand. the people at the polls don't get paid. No, they get paid volunteers. too. Everyone gets paid. They get no, paid. No, yeah, I they thought. do. 
Really? Yes. Everyone gets paid, fuck? dude. People just doing it for fun? I thought that people do it as volunteers. Nah, dude. What no, the then fuck? only rich people would be able to control or uh, to, to count votes. Yeah, which you is fucking definitely... Retard. I'm you sorry. fucking idiot. You fucking moron cocksucker. This is what the people want. Keep going, guys. <laughs> fuck you, dude. I'm taking your shoes. I'm taking yeah. Adam's fucking shoes. They're just bullshit <laughs> shoes. Give me the shit, bitch. <laughs> Why are they so They're tight? ironic Kirkland shoes. They're not Kirkland. Uh, I went to Costco and I got ironic <laughs> shoes. Shut the fuck up. If you want dude. a pair, let me know. Next time I go to Costco, I'll I kind of do ironic want those. shoes like me. Do you want a pair? <clighs> yes. You actually want They're some. Seventeen dollars. <laughs> yeah, we said we want some. I dude. used to have. I used to have fucking uh, Walmart <laughs> Velcro shoes that were eight bucks. Oh hell yes. yes! And they were great. Oh fuck, dude, that's awesome. I want those. Yeah. I'm gonna copy your gay ass. Yeah, do it. I'm gonna copy that, and I bought a blender. Did you buy the Vitamix? But I didn't get the big one. I got the fucking standard one, the 52. I like that it has Vita in the name as if you assume I'm going to put vitamins in that bitch. <laughs> yeah. As if it's not it's just going to be... It's for milkshakes, bitch. It's going to be ice cream and peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. And fucking almonds and shit. <laughs> Brownie mix. You make your own almond butter? I can't wait for that yeah. shit. Yeah, you can make your own almond milk. You can make your own gazpacho. Oh, yes, bitch. I'm going soup crazy. I'm making fucking all kinds did of you shit. you buy the Vitamix? I did. Wow, you really did? You did? Yeah. Legit. It's coming tomorrow to my house. Which one did you get? I just said this. What the fuck? The 5200, the, the base level one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's the oh, one my roommate that's has. That's the gay one. That's, not, <laughs> that's the one that's bad. No, it's You it's want very, the one with, like, texting on it's it? It's very sure. highly rated. No, I don't want the one with texting, but I want the one with, like, the two and a half horsepower motor. <laughs> no, this one has that. See, look, you have to understand. They all have the, the same motor. No, you one. have to understand. Yeah. I'm coming to this blender game from the power tools world. <laughs> <laughs> right? I understand things You're in talking terms horsepower. of torque, yeah. horsepower, <laughs> settings I don't give a shit about, okay? I want to press most... that button. I want the electricity bill to sky. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to accidentally put my hand in there and have to go to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? If I don't lose a finger, it's for gay guys. Does Milwaukee make a blender? Because if DeWalt made a blender and Milwaukee made a blender, you would better believe I'd be fucking. I'd be. I'd be drinking wood milkshakes right now. Oh fuck, dude! I can't wait to blend that shit. Wait, you. Oh, you're getting it tomorrow. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah. you should put fucking weed in there. Oh dude. my god! Can yeah. you imagine if you put a f- pound of weed in a blender and turned just it into juice? It. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! What if, What would happen if you drank a pound of weed? Let's like, find real out. quick. Let's find the fuck out. Real quick. Yeah, like if you put a pound of weed in a blender and put water in it, you go blind. No, you, <laughs> you wouldn't go blind. No, you just get. Would like, you super transcend high. levels just of pass cool? Out, well, have you smoked dab before? Dabs. No. No. They fuck your ass up. My friend Ari's like obsessed with dab accounts on Instagram. There's this guy, AZN Dabs, D A B Z. You would probably die if you did that, the pound no. of weed thing. No, you wouldn't. No, no, no. So, like, dabs. There has to be a toxicity level for THC. No, no, no. You wouldn't die. But this. It's, what would happen? So, he, what dabs are there? I stopped talking about dabs. Tell me what would happen. No, no, it's the same. I'm getting to it. So, <laughs> I don't want to get to it. Just tell me what would happen. They're weed concentrate. I don't give you a shit. You just get insane. You get insanely, insanely stoned. And then, like, once you're an addict or, like, once your tolerance goes up, you can, like, you can handle it. For us... All right, what if you put a pound of heroin in there? Yeah, you would die for sure. <laughs> no, I don't think you would. You there's, would- no, <laughs> there's no toxicity level to heroin. People die from heroin overdoses because they forget to take vitamins. Oh. Yeah, okay. it's like AIDS. AIDS doesn't actually kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's from fucking a guy with a dick too big. <laughs> oh, it does that a little. It's an oppor- oh. opportunistic uh, dick. Interesting, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, it weakens your sphincter. Yeah, it's not the A's that kills you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It yeah. weakens your sphincter so much that all your organs come out of your ass. Yeah. No, it's opportunistic diseases. Which is a good name. That sounds like a, that sounds like Nazi propaganda. <laughs> it's all these opportunistic diseases taking over the finance industry. Yeah, Tay Sachs. <clears throat> Hell yeah, boys. Oh, well, also we had a great show. We didn't talk about that at all. Thank you to everybody who yeah, came to the damn show. That was awesome. The shows are getting better and better, and we appreciate everyone who came. Funny mom, especially yeah. my man who came from Staten Island, who I talked to after the show. For was real. Like, yeah, he was like, I just want you to know I'm a big fan of the show and your willingness to constantly humiliate yourself. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's at home right now and he's like, that's not what the fuck I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even close to what I said. He did say that. I, said, so like, I gave him an earnest compliment and he contorted my words to turn it into a funny bit for himself. No, no. He's he like probably that. didn't say that, and now you're doing what he said in the story by doing this. Mm, you're humiliating yourself. Hell yeah, dude. Bitch. This is Inception. Shouts out to also Ben. It was a compliment. 
that kid in the front row. I think his name was Ben. Uh, shout ben, out to him. Ben's dying of cancer, and he came to our show. And oh, no, uh, wait, am I thinking of my friend? Every ben dollar came? of the Patreon goes to this four-year-old boy <laughs> yeah. who has yeah. leukemia. And if so, if, because yeah. if you're not donating yet, when the we're, we're gonna get in Batman costumes. Yeah, we're gonna do that bad kid thing. Man, that kid's life is gonna suck. You know he's fine, right? The bad oh, really? Kid? Yeah. Oh, he's I want to bully him right now. No, I don't want to bully him. What? But he's imagine <laughs> Fuck him, dude. He lived. <laughs> he's he's gonna at twenty seven years old go shoot up whatever office he's working in. Yeah, in because, a Batman costume. <laughs> yeah, because he's never gonna. He's gonna turn into the Joker. That's the Joker's uh, backstory. Uh, he had childhood leukemia, and they let him pretend he was Batman. <laughs> and then he grew up, and no one gave a fuck about the Joker anymore. He's like, you want to know how I got these scars? I had leukemia. <laughs> Experimental surgery <laughs> to cure my leukemia. <laughs> they had to cut. They had to make my mouth bigger so I could eat the pill. <laughs> the big, le- Jesus the big leukemia pill. My friend Nate, one ball Nate, I call him OBN. He uh he had cancer as a little kid and he he beat it. Uh, but he got to he got he got a make a wish shit and they gave him like a fucking guitar and like a fucking studio and shit. He got hooked up, dude. Mm-hmm. He, he knew what he was house. doing. Yeah, if I had a if I was a Make a Wish kid and they were like, "What do you want?" I'd be like, "Cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> to die." Uh, yeah, they're like, kill me now. I want I want a carton of cigarettes every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Some five year old boy smoking. <laughs> Like we did it. I want to have sex. <laughs> I want to eat pussy. I want to eat. I want to eat fucking Scarlett Johansson's pussy. I want to fuck Lisa. And she's like Ann. crying. <laughs> Some five year old eating around. She's I'm like, gonna die, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if like uh, parents took advantage of their kids' cancer to like get themselves yeah, like shit. a stage mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a cancer yeah. mom. I want to go yeah, on. Yeah. Say it. Now come on, America's- Sarah. You're gonna have to cry more. <laughs> Mommy, stop pulling underneath my eyes. You need bigger bags. <laughs> Where are we gonna put all the money if not for those bags under your eyes? Come on now, be a star. <laughs> Mommy needs a new set of veneers. <laughs> I want fake tits for my mom. (laughs) Now, quick, inhale all this secondhand smoke. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, fuck. Cancer Moms on TBS. That would be a good one, dude. Well, when we found out Shireen had cancer, at first I was sad, but then I thought, we're getting right out of this double wide. <laughs> <laughs> like Skinner plays or something. <laughs> tour bus shots. Yeah. Going all party. the way to Los Angeles, California. <laughs> I have my retard daughter here in a cage, and she's smeared in feces, and I'm going to show her to people for a nickel. <laughs> Taking a California mm. show her to people. <laughs> all right, well, that was a good one, I feel. Yes. Uh, hopefully that's redemption for the one everybody hated <laughs> they're referring to as the politics episode but the truth is guys every episode is a politics episode yeah, yeah. the personal yeah. is political this guys is, it, the thing is, is we're artists so this is all allegory absolutely. if you're not if, if, absolutely if you think these are all just dumb jokes and you're not really realizing something. how this is about you know every slur yeah. is on purpose mm-hmm. and means something meaningful as yeah. fuck if you think about it <laughs> If you really think about it. We're not going to tell you because that's not what artists do. That's not what artists do, Mm -hmm. but you've got to read between the lines. We're not stupid or offensive. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't get it. Yeah. You're a bitch. You bitch-ass piece of shit. Um, Thank you for listening. (laughs) And uh, Come to the next show also uh, Monday after Christmas. Yeah, the 26th. Stav will be at at McGooby's all this weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hosting for Ben Creed all weekend. (laughs) I will be opening for Bobby Kelly at McGooby's. Actually, yeah, come out. A couple people have asked me on Twitter, come come say what's up. If you're a come boy, we'd love to see you at the live shows. uh, Timonium, Maryland. Maryland. I'm there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. A A fake fake town. (laughs) It's not even on the GPS. Yeah, it just sounds like a fake element. Yeah, Yeah. It sounds like like a robot named Tim. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Hello, greetings. Yeah, I live in Timonium. Yeah, just done that was getting too much for me, so, so I go out to the country. The, yeah. <laughs> Fancy Timonium. Yeah. They got a storage plus, <laughs> a batteries plus, plus everything. Yeah, they got a Chili's right by an outback They got a out Chili's there, yeah. plus. You know what that yeah. is? That's where they don't yell at you for taking food out of a dumpster. So All yeah, right. come out. Uh, but yes, goodbye, everyone. Later. So All yeah, right. come out. Uh, but yes, goodbye, everyone. Later. So All yeah, right. come out. Uh, but yes, goodbye, everyone. Later. So yeah, come out. Uh, but yes, goodbye, everyone. Later. So yeah, come out. Uh, but yes, goodbye, everyone. Later. So yeah, come out. Uh, but yes, goodbye, everyone. Later. 
So, yeah, come out. Uh, But, yes, goodbye, everyone. Later.